Hello, Year 7. Good morning. Okay, so what have you got to do today? Well, we're rounding off the book in miserable style with one of the saddest moments in the book. But before that, you're going to do a quiz and then I'll give you some further instructions later on in the video. So when I say pause the video, pause the video, do the task and then come back to the video. First up, um, we've got another quiz, it's pretty self-explanatory, multiple choice. Do your best. You should have finished reading the book by now. Um, if for some reason you've not quite got there, it might be best if you give yourself a little moment to catch up. Maybe there's the audiobook or you could read the ebook or your own book. Any of those are going to help you do these questions um, that cover the last few chapters of the book. So off you go. And well done on the quiz. So, what are you going to do for the rest of today's lesson? Well, there's a few questions on Piggy's death to be looking at. So, what I would really advise is that you have chapter 11 open for you whilst you're looking at this. Um, you might want to read through it, skim bits of it, try and find some of the answers, try and think about what they might mean. So, let's go through it question by question. Why does Piggy insist on going to Castle Rock for this one? The answer should be below in the extract that I've left for you. Well done, you worked it out. So, on to question two. What does Piggy symbolise? And you'll see that I've forgotten to add in a question mark there. What does Piggy symbolise in the book? Now, this is a callback to what we did before when we looked at that symbolism lesson. Off you go. What happens to Piggy? Well, in chapter 11, you'll need to read through and think about what is the big event that happens to him, how exactly does he die? Then, off you go. Okay, so foreshadowing. When we say that something is foreshadowed, it means that we sort of see it coming. The writer gives us clues that it will happen later on. So go back to chapter four and think about what happens in chapter four. It could give us some sort of clue that maybe Piggy won't, won't end the novel alive. What is it that makes him seem perhaps vulnerable in some way? Or what is it that happens that, that indicates what maybe might happen? Okay, well done. So you've been to chapter four and found out the answer. What do the glasses symbolize? So there's there's kind of one thing that they could symbolize, um, but then also there's something else that they, they sort of really show us about Piggy as a person. So if you want to think about that stretch, that's the sort of second thing that it could symbolize beyond the, the sort of more obvious thing I think we spoke about in the symbolism lesson. So this is sort of recap some of this. Now then, what does Piggy's death symbolise? So at this stage in the novel, what is happening um, between the two sort of ways of looking at the world that his death symbolises? Okay, what happens to the conch? Just to remind everybody, the conch, that shell that allows them to talk to each other without having to shout over each other. What happens to that conch in chapter 11? So then, what is the significance of what happens to the conch? The word significance is like, what does it mean in a wider sense? Not just that it's that what happens to it happens, but what what does it mean then? What, what could that symbolise in a wider sense? Why is it so important? And then final question, what is Golding saying about civilised life on the island? What is he saying now at this stage in the book about those who represent civilised life? How have things changed? Where is the balance of power, perhaps, for this question? All right. So, one final time. Pause the video. Uh, 
and you're done. So your job over the holidays will be to spend some time annotating an extract. This will be the final extract and we're going to answer a question on it when you come back. But don't worry, I will be able to give you some feedback on what you've come up with, what you've annotated and what you've started to plan for that answer. So you've got lots of time to look at it. Um, I will put a video up in which I explain parts of the extract as well. So, well done. Thank you so much, Year 7, for all the hard work you've put in over the last couple of weeks. Take a well-deserved break. Go out and enjoy lots of sun, lots of exercise in, in the uh, natural abundance of London's green spaces. See you after half term.